Welcome back to part 5 of Posing Force. We are, um, still here in Black Mesa. And there's another shark creature. Hey, buddy. What was the point of that? <laughs> yeah, there wasn't really a point to that. I mean, I suppose you could just shoot that shark creature right there, but... Eh. I guess, but... Well, we ran into two here. Come on, gather. But uh, you can get Thank right you. past them. Yep. Besides, killing them doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, just wastes ammunition more than anything. Hey, you're in a sewage system. Yeah. Why do you use the pistol so much? You have well, max I mean, ammo on pretty much everything else. Ah, oh, well, but... Seven rounds on uh, Desert Eagle. Well, I mean, I want to I want to save the Desert Eagle for the bigger enemies, since okay. you know they do more damage on the bigger enemies. We'll be running into a couple of them here in a bit, actually. Mm -hmm. Plus, the uh, shotgun doesn't seem to do as much as I quite remember. Yeah. Shotgun is an abysmal in this game. <laughs> <coughs> no joke. Where the guns? And dead. Now, you want to be careful of these um, zap bugs because if you have one in possession, those things can attack you. So, you want to be careful. Oh, if you're using your lightning gun? No. Like, oh. if you have the zap gun in possession and the zap gun is still alive and lunges at you, you won't take damage. Ah, okay. So, you have to kill it. Hey, look. It's this guy. It's a pain in the ass. Yep. I actually found these guys. Around the yep. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> and he's dead. Yep. Hey, you didn't even use that much ammo on him. Nope. What am I using a shotgun here for? Oh, that guy. Because you wanted to shoot him and the wall? Yep. Oh, look. It's something I will never use. Snarks. Really? Yep. Why not? I don't know. I just don't. They're, they're so cute. <laughs> For completionist sakes, I guess I'm collecting it. <laughs> okay. I guess. Oh, well. Which door do we go through? A lot. <laughs> Night vision. Ah, what are we doing here? I always find oh. it interesting you only have 10 units of uh, ammo for that thing. Yeah. I mean, it recharges, so. Rechargeable ammo, at least. It's de it definitely gives a kick towards, you know, the weaker enemies anyway, like the grunts, the mm -hmm. cops. And now we go climbing. Yep. I still have to say my least favorite enemy out of the whole Half-Life game original series was uh, the power plant boss that was tentacles. Oh, yeah. That thing was a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, they're no threat here. <coughs> they are no threat here. Thankfully. Well, you're in a completely different part of Black Mesa than that was, though. Yeah. I, I've i had the most trouble passing that part in Half-Life 2. Mainly because I didn't know that I had to move around slowly to, you know, not catch its attention. Yeah. You mean Half-Life 1? Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, I don't ever remember that part from Half-Life 2, man. Yeah. Yeah, this gun's a bit deadly. Hey, it does the job good. Yep. It's spazzing out there, but that's because the reticule is actually trying to aim at the enemy that I don't mean to aim at. Yep. Which, I'm glad they fixed this too. <laughs> 
Well, I'm glad they nice. fixed a lot of the things in the remix. Yep. Moving on down. And, and we go fun into fact, a bunch of giant sphincter. Yeah, if we jump in here, we regain health. Hmm. I'm gonna pick up some ammunition here, if you don't mind. <laughs> Do a little bit of grinding myself. What are the bugs even? You know if they attack enemies? Snarks? Yeah. Um, they attack enemies, you know, to a certain point until they explode. So they're like sewer mini suicidal um, bombs. Okay. Like suicide bombers. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So. I really don't use them that much. Alright, we get this to a new weapon. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I love this gun. Boom. <laughs> alien blob shot. Yep. What are those things? Eggs? Some sort of uh, eggs, I'm sure. Something. They're your ammo. Yep. Come back here, light. Come back here. I only want to play. Take me to your pot of gold. Oh wait, those are leprechauns. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna take you to a pot of gold. Uh, pot of something, it led but me to trouble. <laughs> yeah. It led you to things that were getting poked with sticks that are now angry. Yeah. I, you don't see them in Half Life Two. You don't see like a bunch of the enemies in Half Life Two. No, you really don't. The most you'll see are the barnacle creatures and the head crabs, head crabs and head crab zombies. That and uh, the walkers. Yeah. <coughs> it's hologram. So it's funny, it's randomized on which model it'll load up. Really? Like, yeah. It won't be the same model. Like, I know during Shepard's Mine, it shows the Einstein model. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's randomized. Isn't it just supposed to be Dr. Fact, Klein? Yeah. Oh, look. Another weapon. Yep. Another fine weapon. I love this that weapon. You get to go nom 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 on enemies. Yep. I'm gonna eat you. Oh yeah. Get over here. Pretty much. I think it's Step funny, on you're now. using one of the head barnacles in order to eat stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can't eat wood. Though, doesn't make sense why, since wood is living matter. Yep. My problem is, why don't you use them on the Vortigon? Yeah. Or will I it not know. eat it? <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think it. It um, eats the Vortigons. Okay. It's a nice grappling hook, though. Yeah. Makes you feel like Spider-Man. If Spider-Man was using a giant alien probe thing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see. Killing more, and more, and more. You know, I never tested if you could use the barnacle creature against the barnacle another creatures. barnacle creature. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it would turn like to a matchless tug of war. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how the black hole was invented. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, did that kill him? Should have. Nope. Nope. And now it did. So it takes two shots of that for those things. Yeah. Nothing here. I will take some health though. And some more radioactive. Oh, and another stuff. elevator. Ride. Yep. So many elevator rides. Yep. 
But you're going as Dead Space. Yeah, yeah, I know. I played all three. <laughs> I've never played the third one. I want to. Um, I a lot of people criticize it. it, but I mean, hell, you kill the end boss from Dead Space One in it and escape through it by bursting out of it. Ah, the hive then. Yep. You kill a hive, and then yeah, it's it's the third one's well worth playing if you like the first and the second one. The third one's just more action-like rather than uh, anything else, and the story's a little subpar compared to the first and second one. Yep. Ah, uh, you'll never believe this, but this is a dead end. No, really? Yeah can't break through this window but there are some goodies boxes. to have in here so it would be nice if you found another rocket another rocket would have been nice yeah. what about at this point uh, you're pretty much done with rockets yeah well you find <clears throat> you find one more rocket I well think. yeah right before you run into Gordon Freeman <laughs> True enough. Going back down in the elevator. Oh. You know, it's funny because the creators <laughs> of the Mind series actually take advantage of the elevators by adding elevator music to it. Like, that one of them nice I know touch. use... <laughs> I know... I know one of them actually used a soundtrack that was used in the old Sonic drive through commercials. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, I didn't start seeing Sonic until uh, well, not too recently, last couple of years, because uh, it yeah. just finally came to the West Coast. Yep. That was a nice landing. Uh-huh. And there we go. Oh, boy. Oh, we get to run the into the first boss in this game. Yeah. If you hide in that box, I bet you'll be safe. <laughs> but then we will never complete the game. But, but, evil you'll worm be safe. <laughs> Not well. Oh, pit worms. Yep. This is an interesting level. I like this chapter as a whole. Hey, look! It's a new enemy. Hmm. More toxic waste. And a really tall ladder. And it just. Oh saved. It's never a good my time. god! Ammunition everywhere! <laughs> yeah, for the Desert Eagle. <laughs> and the shotgun. Yep. Oh, hey. hi there. How's it going? It's angry. It is. I'm gonna go poke it. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's the thing to do something that's injured and, injured and angry. Let's go poke it with a stick. Maybe that's yes. the reason why the Mesa incident happened in the first place. <laughs> we poked so many creatures with a stick. <laughs> we put them in cage, large animal cages and poked them with a stick till something happened. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, no, that knife goes fast, but it does yeah. not hit hard whatsoever. Nope. It'll do massive damage to a head crab, but those are head crabs. Yeah, head crabs <laughs> don't exactly have a whole heck of a lot of health. Nope. Alright, so what we have to do is turn out turn on steam and gear. Gearbox. Get it? Gearbox? Yep. Steam? Coincidence? <laughs> and then we'll finally kill it. Yep. And we'll we'll station one. Here. Bam. Smack. Wow, that actually killed something with one shot. Yep. I'm impressed. <laughs> ah. There you go. Moving on right along to part six. Yep. See you then.